Hi, this is me, Delicious Diva 5, coming to you as Diva Designs 5 today. Just um, wanted, since I said in the beginning of the first video that um, I also do design work as far as painting, uh, walls, and um, what is it? Reassigning furniture. So today I just wanted to kind of concentrate and show you all some of my design work that isn't edible, but it is cute. All right, so um, that's what we're gonna get started today. I will do my uh, kitchen table as well as my dining room table and then the entertainment center in my family room, which used to be in a white, an antique white buffet. And before we get started, nothing's changed with me. I'm pretty much always the same. I wanted to give a shot of my shoes. which I absolutely love. Um, I don't remember where I got them from. It was on some internet site, but when I saw them with the pink flower and the clear, the sheer, which is like my most favorite thing in the world, I had to get them. And so I have them and I'm happy about that. So this table was, um, like I said, it was a cherry, plain cherry table. And me, I can't do plain anything for long because it just wouldn't be Diva Designs. And I started out, of course, sanding it. And then I went with a really bright uh, yellow, sunny yellow color, and put that on. And once that dried a couple hours, then I went in with a crackle and let that sit on for a couple hours. And then, well, actually that sat on the rest of the evening and the night. And then the next day, I wasn't sure what color I was gonna use, and I'm one of those people that just have a stack of paint in my basement. Um, sometimes I will go and look at, well I do still, go in, in the paint stores and look at, um, or paint departments, and find Oops Paint that is like $5 a gallon or $7 a gallon, and just love the color and purchase it and just say, well I'll use it one day. So that way I get really, really good paints for an inexpensive amount of money. And um, so then the next day I just went over it with a red. And of course the crackle, as the crackle came in, I loved it. And I love these cracks right here. Not sure if you can see it right here, but some of it is like really, really cracked. And I really, really love that. Because I love old and antique and kind of beat up, kind of. That's, that's my style. And um, so then once it was red and dry, that even seemed a little plain to me. So I actually got some little um, hand paint and nothing expensive. I might have picked it up at, you know, one of the big everything stores. And um, just took some stencil and put it here and then went over and made these flowers and personalized them with the little black dots and everything. And even in the middle, there's a design here. And then once everything was totally dry, then I went over it with a polyurethane. And about every couple of months, maybe two or three months, I actually go over it with a polyurethane again so that it has that shine. Although it looks old and beat up, I still want it to shine. And I adore this table. Like this table can't go anywhere because I really, really love it. But I hear that that's like how most artists are. I hate to part with their things. I can't really part with anything that I ever did or made. It's very difficult for me. Okay, so the next painting that I wanna show you is my dining room wall, which is the reason I don't know how I'll ever leave this house or I'm gonna have to cut the wall and take it with me because that's how much I absolutely love this dining room. Okay, so now we're gonna come into the dining room, which is one of my favorite rooms. Although my whole house is my favorite room because I did every room and I just love to decorate. So, but the wall is definitely my favorite wall, I think. Okay, so over here, this is my wall that I created. And I haven't been to Italy yet, but this just reminds me of 
an old Italian something. And I just really loved it. And the way that I did this wall was, um, it was actually a mistake because in my powder room, which I'll show in another video later, in my powder room, there was one step that I did for that wall that I forgot to do on this one. And by me forgetting that one step, it created this, which to me is the best mistake I ever made. Um, so, the first layer, which everybody always asks me is this wallpaper. You know, well, where did you start and how did you do it? But um, this is actually started out, you can see a little bit of the orange in here peeking through. And I just started with an orange, so it was a bright orange wall. And then after that dried, um, I had a, a muddy brown color, very deep fudge uh, chocolate that I mixed with two parts glaze and just a bucket. Well, no particular measuring. I just poured it in and then tried to pour double of the glaze. Mixed it up really good. And I rolled that uh, dark fudge on all over. And as I rolled the dark fudge on, then I took a piece of tissue paper and just laid it on and then took it off. And then you could see the, the, the orange bleeding through the dark fudge brown color. And I like that and I kept doing that across the whole entire wall. And then when I finished, I just kind of blended it a little into um, the orange. Well, into the next part. I can't really describe what I did. But if you can, I want you to understand that I just laid tissue paper on the brown. And then I just went and took it all off, balled it up, put it in the trash. And then once that was dry, I had some uh, like olive green and I also mixed that with glaze and I dipped it in a brush and then wiped it on a cloth and did like just a dry brush of the olive green. And you can, I hope you can see that, it's really running through the whole entire wall. And then once that was done and dried, I actually was, was gonna go in with like just a dry purple just to give it more richness and depth, just a little bit. But I didn't um, because I got sidetracked finding a little jar of glitter paint. And my nickname is Glitter with A-H. Um, and I just love glitter. That's exactly what I'm gonna do next on my table. <laughs> but my signature on everything is glitter because you can't have too much sparkle in your life. And um, so then I just dry brushed the glitter paint on. And once that was dry, I felt like I had a masterpiece. So as I said, if I ever leave this home, I'm gonna have to cut this wall off because I really, really like this wall. And then to top it all off, to top the wall, which I'm still not finished decorating this room because I need to paint my white walls. I ended up finding this mirror with the, um, I don't know what color, the topazy and brown and cream stones on it, which totally is just perfect. It's not the right scale, but I just made it work with my buffet display. With my, um, I just made it work. Of course, if I did it to scale, you know, it would have been bigger, but why hide a beautiful wall? It didn't need to be any bigger. This is perfect. So this is my dining room. I um, haven't showed the whole entire thing because as I said, I'm not finished painting yet, although I've been here for 14 years, <laughs> but I need to decide what color I wanna make the other walls and have some time to do it. But this is it, and this is part of my um, design. If you go to my IG page, Diva Designs 5, you will find other pieces of my home inside of that, as well as fashion. So I hope you go to my page on IG, Diva Designs 5, and see some more of my busy brain stuff. And I'll come back again in between food stuff and show another um, part of my home and decor and what I reassigned and what I painted and what I, what I, what I, what I, what I. Thank you. <laughs>